So far, we've been talking about risk communication in general here in the top part of this funnel diagram. And remember, we said that risk communication techniques are used to handle both risk and crisis situations. But there are differences between a risk and a crisis situation, and this can affect how we communicate the situation. So let's take a closer look at the second tier of the funnel. Risk versus crisis communication. I imagine that some of you might be wondering, what's the difference between risk and crisis communication? Risk communication deals with things that might go wrong. Here we have a photo of a wildfire. A wildfire fire represents a risk situation. Crisis communication, on the other hand, deals with things that do go wrong. Here we have a photo of wildfire posing a direct risk to life and property. This is a crisis situation. Risk communication responds to any event that could cause public concern and could focus media attention on an organization or agency. Let's look at a couple of examples to explore this distinction. I've got two examples to share with you, one from the agricultural industry and one from natural resources. Let's say that you own a food processing facility. A food product sold by a competitor has been found to have salmonella and a food recall has been issued. Now, your product is free of salmonella, but regardless, you know that concern about salmonella is connected to this project generally and will affect your company, so you decide to take some steps. You initiate a toll-free telephone hotline, post information on your website, send out a tweet, and distribute information through various media to inform your consumers that your product is safe. This is a proactive approach. Because you act quickly, concern about your product is alleviated. You will probably suffer some economic loss, but because you responded quickly and in a way that enhances the public's trust, you are seen as a responsible company and will recover more quickly. Based on the information you've learned so far, do you think this is a situation describing risk or crisis communication? Let's look at another example. Your food processing company unknowingly shipped out salmonella tainted food. Within a short time, people around the country are getting sick and the cause has been traced to your company. You respond quickly to the media and the public's food safety concerns and in a way that addresses their concerns to maintain credibility and trust. Which do you think this situation describes, risk or crisis communication? If you guessed risk for the first and crisis for the second, pat yourself on the back, you got it right. Let's consider another pair of examples. Consider you are a state forestry agency and it's fire season. You currently have 100 active fires in the state and 45,000 acres burning. It has been dry and there's no rain in the forecast. There are no major fires threatening populated areas, but to keep the public informed and aware, you post wildfire preparedness information on your website, tweet the information out, Ensure the online list of county burn bans is up to date and run public service announcements on wildfire risk and safety. You've also responded to a reporter's request for an interview to discuss the current wildfires burning in the state. Based on the information you've learned so far, do you think this situation describes risk or crisis communication? Let's consider a second scenario. A fire has burned 10 homes and killed an elderly man who refused to evacuate. The 15,000 acre fire is 55% contained, but is still threatening nearly a dozen homes. An evacuation order is still in effect for that area. Residents in a few nearby towns were allowed to return home earlier today when an evacuation order was lifted. The air quality in the area was deemed either hazardous or unhealthy by state officials. As a state forestry agency, you have been tweeting and posting on Facebook to alert the public to the evacuation orders and air quality concerns. Which do you think this situation describes, risk or crisis communication? If you guessed risk for the first example and crisis for the second, great job, you got this one right. 